almost like a game of Tetris. Ramming cars into every inch of the black pavement. As more sit on the back of wreckers, waiting to be added to this giant puzzle better known as the city's impound lot. It's a massive undertaking. Memphis Police Colonel Doreen Shelton runs the place. And that's 12 acres of vehicles out here. The impound lot located in Frazier holds cars for a number of reasons. The car was involved in a fatal crash and waiting for the insurance companies or court systems to do their business. It was abandoned on the side of the road or the vehicle was involved in a crime and considered evidence. How many cars do you have right now and is it over capacity? Yes, way over capacity. Um, we have roughly 2,238, I think was the count this morning. I, I know it was. Um, and we're about 1,500 over. That was in June, but the numbers remain steady. Shelton says it's been that way since 2020 when the pandemic hit. Due to COVID, we couldn't sell the cars, we couldn't move them. Uh, the courts were uh, closed down for the most part and not adjudicating the vehicles like they needed to. Inventory drastically increased. So did reports of thefts and carjackings. An immense increase. So. Yeah, all of that has slowed everything down for us. So where are you finding the room to store all these vehicles? Little by little, inch by inch. The problems don't end there. Right now, Shelton says they only have one working forklift. They're short staffed and part of the lot is rotting. Our lot is deteriorating because of the weight. The weight from all those extra cars. Sinkholes are now popping up. How are you making this work? Day by day, we, we manage each day and just put out the fires as they come. But the fire has become too big. One of the calls that I got about it is the, the backlog when they appear. Uh, some, some drivers are sitting idle at the tow lot for multiple hours. The city council asked MPD to speak about the impound lot and what they need to fix it. Shelton says it could cost up to two million to fix the drainage issues. They need two more forklifts and more staff. She said the chief has assigned recruits to help in the meantime. Much of it is beyond her capacity. It took a long time for it to get that way. The administration is working with us to look at alternative locations. Until then. This last weekend, we were overwhelmed. We had about 200 cars that had been through either stolen or crimes or wrecks that came in. Crazy driving causing crashes, COVID closures, the crippling crime, it all has a ripple effect, this time impacting citizens' wallets. Because this giant puzzle has to be solved. Shelton says those new forklifts have been worked into the budget, but as for the lot itself, as you heard there in council, that's still being worked out. We'll let you know how it's resolved. Jessica Gartler, WRG News Channel 3.